Hi, this is Steve Winder from Basement Saver Pumps, and in this video we're going to be covering what you get in the box. Specifically, I'm going to show you exactly what you get in the box of a Basement Saver WP1 water-powered backup sump pump. You'd find similar box contents if you bought a larger pump, like a WP2 or a WP3, or if you bought one of our WPA, HP or HPA series pumps. There are many different ways that you can install a basement saver water powered pump in your basement. Normally you'd mount the pump unit up near the basement ceiling, and it comes with a float that goes down in the sump, and that's what triggers the pump to come on and go off. In this particular installation, you can see that we have a dedicated discharge, that is, that water exiting the pump goes out to the outside of the house through its own discharge pipe. You'll notice that this backup pump unit is installed in a different way. It actually shares a discharge line with the primary sump pump, so that water leaving both pump units goes out of the house through the same discharge line. As I'll now show you, whichever way you decide to install your pump, the parts that you need will come in the box. So this is everything that came in the Basement Saver WP1 box. We've got the pump unit itself that has a check valve attached to it. And this is the control valve on the back of the pump. And there's some adjustment here. There's a hydraulic tube. And the hydraulic tube is going to be connected to the pump and run down to the float mechanism here, which activates the pump. There's a fitting with a sieve on the end, and that will go on the end of the suction tube down in the, the sump. So water will be drawn up here through another tube that we have to buy and into the pump. There are a couple of different fittings to go in the, the back of the pump. One for half inch pipe and one for three quarter inch pipe. There's the free basement saver water alarm that comes with the unit. Um, there are some other fittings here. Um, over on this side, we've got a flexible hose to use for discharge. This connects onto the front of the pump. And this fitting here allows us to plumb the discharge into our existing um, main sump pump discharge if we wish to do that. This is a different fitting that would go on the end. And this is if we're running a dedicated discharge for the pump, and this is a, a relief tee here. So if we ever get back pressure or blockage in the line, this will pop out and allow the water to relieve itself um, into the yard and not cause the pump to back up into the home. And then there are some other cable ties. Oh, and of course, last but not least, the instructions. What's in your basement? Visit basementsaver.com. Check out our SP Series High Efficiency Primary Sump Pumps. Check out our BP Series Powerful Battery Backup Pumps. And finally, check out the world's most advanced water-powered backup sump pumps, available in four different series, with each series containing pump units in three different sizes.